doggy, you know the white kid. Hey, hey, hey. Bitch, I'm in the league. You a fan of a team. Okay. And while you hate, I be hunting for the green. Uh -huh. You just chase your screen. Yeah, you go chase a meme. What? More space for me in the still of all you please. <laughs> I'ma blow the scene, new diamonds on my teeth, but the pearlies up on Hello, friendly listener. You are now tuned in to the Rambling Rogue Show. I am your host, Rambling Rogue. This is episode 13 of the Rambling Rogue Show. Thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in. If you're watching this on YouTube, if you're watching this on SoundCloud, I appreciate you. I do this every week. For you, my consistency is for anybody watching, tuning in, 45 seconds in, to 10 minutes in, to whatever, how much ever you can listen to. So I appreciate you. All right. Had to cut that. <coughs> Headphones off so I can get my soundboard going. Let's go. Hey, man. Episode 13. I'm honestly, I'm honestly not in the best state right now. Listener, I'm not in the best state. I'm not. Okay, I'm anxious. I'm anxious as hell. I'm, 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 I'm getting like four or five hours of sleep every night. Um, you know what I'm saying? I'm not stressed, but I'm not. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm trying to juggle so many things and trying to get so many things done efficiently. And it's um. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's kind of like a scary thing right now where it's like, I don't really know the path in front of me, so it's kind of hard to follow it. It's kind of hard to, to do things because it's like there's no written set way, okay, this is how you get it done. And you still got all these dreams, but you don't even know, you know, oftentimes what step one can be. And um, if you watch Dreadlock Journey, shout out to Dreadlock Journey. Please watch Dreadlock Journey on uh, YouTube. Know what I'm saying? That's the vlog. Uh, if you watch that, you'll see that I was talking the the brick by, by brick talk and and saying things you know like uh, that nature and you know that that's that's like a that's a boast. That's a big boast so that I could feel better. That's like mantra type shit. But I'm not gonna lie, listener. I'm gonna bear it all on this one. I'm feeling it, you know, I'm feeling the, the pressures, and um, I've talked about it before, but it's just, man, I, I'm, I'm more in touch with so many more artists now, I'm trying to get out CLA and see places and, and do things, and I'm, I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying, expose myself to this stuff, and, and, and what I've found and what I've been finding oftentimes in my experience is just... It's a lot of people out here, man, that, that, that have not, that have had passion and, and, and have not seen it through. And, and, um, it's a scary thing. You know, it's a scary thing. I was just to kind of have like a small bisector. Sorry, listener. I was watching Steven Universe. It's a cartoon, you know, on, on Cartoon Network. Uh, I hope you watch it. It's a, gr it's, it's, uh, it's a show that that um you know has great visuals and everything like that it has um you know its own unique art style and everything like that and you know it's it, it's not awkward to look at but it's just to show that for me at least it's too often trying to make a point and trying to you know i guess be like this board for you know like the, or this platform for stuff but you know what that's just my opinion Maybe that's just the, you know, the show's just too much, um, you know, it's just too realistic, too, too many, uh, too many real life things, like, especially like sexual encounters, too many of that, too much of that with these like smaller QT characters that, I don't know, it just makes you feel uncomfortable sometimes. But, you know, it's a show that they had an episode and, um, it really resonated with, with me this episode. I, what, what happened? So I was just watching it. And a character in the show, I guess, they were talking about how the city that the show takes place in, Beach City, came together. And they used a character in the show that's the mailman to portray the the character that founded the Beach City town. Now, it's like a huge grand story. It's an epic that they get into where... You know, it tells some of the exposition and backstory to the whole, you know, Crystal Gem universe that Steven Universe, um, you know, is within. And, and it kind of tells this whole story 
about how this guy just wants to be known in the world and he just wants to be he just wants his name to make you know some people turn around when when he's gone and say hey i remember that and he just wants his mark and um what was his name buddy brunswick or something like that and he founded the library and so i don't want to spoil the whole story but it's just it's such a great episode because the, you know it just captured i think that ambition you know and that feeling and that drive but also that 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 very foreboding and scary you know like path ahead or i guess maybe it's the lack of that path ahead really in total that's it's that foreboding space it's just there you know you have to make steps in any direction and you don't know when you're stepping in the right direction and you know like he's supposed to be an explorer the buddy brunswick guy you can come in you don't you can make noise it's all good um sorry about that he's he's, he's like an explorer is what he wants to be and i guess you know he lived in like you know old timey times they, they didn't really get too specific with it i think but it was supposed to be something like the 1800s and uh you know it, it's like i i really just likened his story to to uh, just just a creator in today's world you know we're all just explorers that want to you know whether people want to admit it or not because they want to say that they have no ego but we're all just explorers that just want to make our dent on the world and just want to discover things that are new and unique so that we can bring them to you know the masses so that we can be the ones responsible for it let's be honest and you know with that in mind i guess let me just kind of kind of awkwardly transition that like thought into so yesterday today's sunday as of recording this i'm recording this the same day that hopefully it should be out the video shouldn't take too long to render i mean jesus i'm using this G jesus that is i'm using this one program called davinci resolve and it takes like a few hours anyway um <laughs> i went to this art gallery live art vendor thing hosted by a very rare shop shout out to them it was a very great event it was called herstory i think that's like i mean i, I think that's how you would pronounce it it was supposed to be a celebration or not even supposed to be it was a celebration of you know women with it being the you know national women's month or, or you know whatever um, I don't know if it's national or if it's annual or I don't know, but anyway, or I don't know the word I would use there, but with it being the women's month, March, and with it being the last day of March, March 31st, this was a celebration for artists inside of the area to just kind of come together. They could, of course, you know, sell their own things. They could, of course, you know what I'm saying? Branch out, reach out, mingle, and of course, you know share their art with many different people that probably would not have had the chance to see it so i caught i caught her story i i, I went in um you know i i had a pre-conceived notion right going into it i thought it was going to be a way different vibe i thought it was going to be a vibe that was like you know what i'm saying it was going to be like more live and more more live music and more like dancing and stuff like that and it was just going to be more like I don't know, I guess more condensed, but this was really, it reminded me a lot of like, um, seshes. If you've ever been to that listener, if you know what I'm talking about out here in California, we have these things called seshes. So what they are is just like people get together inside of like, you know, random ass like spots. It'll be like an Elks Lodge or something like that. And vendors will come and they'll sell weed, you know, out to people that have, you know, their recommendations. And then, you know, the people that are of course of age, um, it reminded me of that setup in that it was just, you know, a bunch of booths and then, yeah, there were people doing live art and stuff, but for the most part, it looked like storefront-esque type things. So, I don't know, that kind of just, it just, like, at least that's what you see when you walk in. And then there's a stage and then a couple, they had a couple rooms set up with some people's installations all, all up in there, but, um, man, honestly enjoyed myself. I experienced quite a lot. I ex I'm trying to expose myself, listener. You know what I'm saying? I come from a small town 
in California where you may think that like everybody like if you're not in California you may think that like what like everybody in California is just like in LA and they're LA people but it's like really and honestly nah man I got this kind of weird small town like chip on my shoulder where it's like I feel like whenever I get out into LA or big cities like that I just have like this kind of fish out of water feeling and I kind of have this uh I guess this just feeling of maybe people are all watching me because I know I stick out so much and things like that and I know that's all in my head but so um yeah I get in there a lot of storefront s type things few very beautiful artists um a lot of beautiful people inside of the room in general like male and female is just it was just you know and, and again that too like I feel like um I mean I, you know what I'm saying I'm, I'm a bit of an ugly bit of an ugly mug so uh you know what I'm saying I feel like when I get into a room full of you know very beautiful people it's intimidating especially because they dress to the tens too but um and, and actually let me comment on this there was this one female there she had her hair done in braids and you know I, I you know this is like an artsy kind of affair so I I mean I I didn't really mind it but you know she had her hair done in blue and like white braids that were like you know of course uh uh cornrows and stuff like that and like man it I don't know if, if somebody really woke has seen that if somebody really like just just that was that's been woke for too long, you know those people that's just you know, eyes totally wide, like totally wide, totally woke on everything. Yeah, they they might have they might have they might have gotten they might have freaked out by that one. She she that it was, it was this was a very pale, pale white chick, and and her braids were long. I think she was a performer as well. She might she might be a rapper as well. I really don't want to, um, you know what I'm saying, belittle her or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not judging. I'm not saying anything. I, I, I don't have anything against or, or or really to say at all about her hairstyle. But, man, I just thought I just thought in my brain with like a filter when I saw her. I was just like, damn, bro. Like, like if somebody had seen that, I would have been bad. But, uh. I exposed, I, you know, I, I seen, I seen a couple live shows, the live shows, honestly, they were a little bit, you know, just a little, a little dead, a little dead, people weren't really moving as much, the music wasn't, I mean, you could tell that every performer there, um, hadn't gone on to the stage before to sound check, so they basically did their sound check as soon as they got on, and then some performers were complaining about, I think, like, you know, their their music was playing too fast and 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 it was just it was just not good man i mean there were some rap acts there were some uh you know kind of like rock punkish acts is you know it it was a, it was a hodgepodge in there it was a hodgepodge i'll say this i met a uh, spiritual healer a shaman uh soraya the healer i hope i'm saying that right shout out to you she actually kind of read my energies very briefly. Shout out to the Xbox 360. She read my uh, energies very briefly while I was up in there. And, uh, you know, honestly, I'm going to put this out into existence. I hope she becomes my shaman. She is very, uh, it seems like she's very in tuned with her energies. And right now I'm going through a lot where I feel like my energies are just being pulled into 80 different places. And I just, I can't focus and I can't get my energies down right and I feel like sometimes it makes me kind of lash out I'll give an example like just sexually I feel like I'm kind of just you know what I'm saying pimped up pimped up and like <laughs> I don't know it just it makes your actions different it makes you kind of go into every situation with this kind of I don't know man like I don't know man Anyway, moving on. Uh, I talked to, okay, not just Soraya. Shout out to Didi. That was also a very rare. Shout out to Calypso, who performed. I caught some of her performance and I filmed it. I don't know what I'm going to do with that, that footage. But you know what? I, you know, I, I might just save it. I might put it out. Uh, again, her set was just, I mean, you know, she had a lot of energy. 
she she tried and she was really projecting. Shout out to you, Calypso. You know she was she was uh uh she was really trying. But you know the stage and the mic and the set it's just the whole thing. It it, was, it just wasn't working. It just it just it just wasn't. If I'm being objective and honest, uh. But that's not not a knock to you. You keep doing music, honestly. Very talented. I bought one of her. Uh, I wish I could show you, listener. I bought one of her. Uh, it's like a sticker version of it, but it's like a painting that she has, and it's just this very graphic image, you know. And and and, it, and it's like it just captures the human inside of like a very revealing and very nude way, but at the same time, you know cloaked with a message and cloaked with with meaning and 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 it was a uh, chained up woman you know and she had like a noose around her neck as well and and and, and the color scheme uh, on her and, and 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 the way she 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 painted it it was just it was very um very african inspired it was very afro you know it was very uh, you know almost like like i don't know it was it was, it was awesome Almost Samurai Jack, also inspired. It, it, it was, it was. I'll show. I, I bought it. I bought the sticker. I'll probably put it up somewhere somehow. Um, follow me, Gyres at Gyres G I R E S I N D A J U N G L E. You know what I'm saying? Um, to catch that. I'm kind of all over the place right now. I'm such a klutz. I knocked over two, two artists. Freaking uh uh art. I was literally standing trying to film one show that was going on and, and like the whole room was full of art and uh, I don't know how I did it but I knocked over like this whole setup that was in front of these th th this chick's table and like it just made like this whole scene and like I had to apologize a bunch of times and then like she got irritated at me apologizing so it's just ah oh, it was bad it was ugh. and then like. DD, shout out to DD again. Um, with what's her brand called? With uh, Radical Minds, shout out to DD. She's from Atlanta. Shout out to Radical Minds. Y'all go check that out. Very great brand. I knocked over her painting as well. I'm literally terrible, and, and it was like right behind me, and I really should not have like that one. I should have saw. So, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, man. I'll tell you this though, things like her story are are really great just because of the fact that this nigga got off Halo Reach so fast. <laughs> this, no, I was gonna play again. Nah, this man was playing Halo Reach and and this man literally was in matchmaking. Seen one dude get on and now he on 2K. Damn, how we forget them games. Anyway, her story it was pretty great and it was pretty important I think. Because I noticed a lot of artists that were in there, they would not have ever had a chance to do anything like Herstory. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, without that. Like, I was noticing a lot of them were saying, and and they were looking like this was their first installation, and or at least a few of these women, and, like, I was just thinking to myself, I was like, man, like, this is so necessary. This broad showcase this place where creators can come and finally have a shot i mean man people pass the buck and they just don't look at anybody's stuff and it's just there's so much passion there's so much energy going into all this work onto all the work that you see and it's just i don't know it breaks my heart sometimes that people don't get you know like shine or whatever anyway what else do i want to talk about um yeah her street was pretty lit man it was it was uh it was a very la vibe and 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 honestly i'm glad i i saw it glad i experienced it took some great pictures i think not great all right pictures and um i'm trying to vlog this right now and uh yeah rambling rogue show episode 13 we're like 19 minutes in I think I have a few things to talk about. Let me hit my Google Docs. Hold on. Hey, shout out to St um, Stephen Carr. 
That man's at USC. Um, we share a birthday. Went to middle school with that man. Y'all watch out for that man. This man is about to blow up. This dude is about to go crazy. He about to be in the NFL soon. Shouts out to that man. Um, it's you know what I'm saying. It's class of class of eight, uh, seventeen. You know what I'm saying. We you know what I'm saying. We coming up. And uh, yeah, but yeah, seriously though, shout out to that man. You're running back. He, he beast. Uh, shout out to Chris Newsom. You know what I'm saying? I just want to just shout out to these people. Yo, man. These dudes are doing great. Bombs for them. I forgot that I have my soundboard. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, we had to take a slight break. We had to change our video source. But we're back. And um, I don't think you really noticed that on the audio. But we're back. And, um, yeah, shout out to these dudes. Anything else I want to say today? Anything else? Um, keep pushing if you're artistic and creative. Keep pushing, keep doing, keep making, cre keep creating. Keep it efficient. Find things that you can do that you can do every day, every week. This podcast I could do every week, but it's just the anxiety that would make me ever stop. But fuck that. I'm still going to bring it to you guys. Know what I'm saying? I'm working on ways to uh, put my pictures together. And also, yeah, just keep living, keep doing. Anything else I want to say? Her Street was great. It's hard to describe what it's what I'm doing to other people. Let me just touch on this really fast. It's hard for me as a creator, as someone who's very passionate to step into a room of people who don't understand my passion and express it to them. I think this is a problem. I think there are people out there that don't have this problem and I want to seek these people and emulate them because it is these people who articulate themselves the best. One of these people, I have brought his name up on the podcast before, but is Virgil Abloh. He's a great example of one of those kinds of people that could have something in his head Put it to you in voice, with word, and you get it. Like that. So, that's what I aspire to do. I hope you have aspirations of your own, and I hope that you will, you know, strive to reach them. Because you don't have to. You can just die. But, that'd be kind of boring, wouldn't it? Hmm. Shire's Rogue. Shire's Rogue. That's my name. Don't wear it out.